Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations where we generally look at one or another lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. And hurrah, it's Sunday. Today we gather to glorify God, to worship him in the beauty of holiness, to gather together here at St. John's to receive the blessed sacrament, to hear his word proclaimed and interpreted, and to be equipped and built up in the fellowship of the church as well by being with one another. And did I mention at the beginning there? To receive the Blessed Sacrament, right? You can only do that by being present with us for worship. And I do hope that that is a priority in your life because Jesus does say, unless you eat my flesh and drink my blood, you have no life in you. Now, as we usually do on Sundays, rather than taking a look at the lesson, one of the lessons for morning and evening prayer, uh, we're going to go ahead and take a look at the colic that's appointed. Today is the 19th Sunday after Trinity. O oh God, for as much as without thee we are not able to please thee, mercifully grant that thy Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. So these, these, these colleagues in the weeks after Trinity, especially it seems like towards the end, seem to be getting shorter and shorter. Not a lot of flowery language, not a lot of, you know, usually the... the, the uh, the form for the collect is that we address God, usually God the Father, but it can be addressed to the Son and the Spirit as well. Uh, and then it gives an attribute of God, and then the ask, what it is, our petition, what we're asking for, and then it sums it up with, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Um, this is one of the short ones, right? Oh God, uh, it doesn't give the attribute, but then goes on to say, for as much as without thee we are not able to please thee, mercifully grant that thy Holy Spirit may in all things direct and rule our hearts. I guess maybe that's the attribute of God, right? Is that it, without him, we cannot please him. And that makes perfect sense, right? Um, St. Augustine of Hippo, uh, the famous theologian, not the St. Augustine of Canterbury, that's later. Uh, St. Augustine of Hippo, the, the great bishop and uh, writer of the Confessions, he is fond of saying that, uh, that or, say it, or said that without us, God will not. And Without him, we cannot, right? In other words, we can really do no good without Jesus Christ, without the grace of the Holy Spirit and, and all of the blessings that God gives us. And God will not compel us to do so, right? He may set us up so that we're uncomfortable if we're not, and thank God for that. Our conscience should be well-formed and therefore we'll be pricked if we're not doing God's will. But he, he, he will not compel us or force us, right? To be forced is not real love. And he, what he wants us to do is to love him and to love to do his will. So it's important for us. But uh, here we hear, we ask him, look, that um, what we're asking is that we want to please him. And the only way we can please him is to do what he wills for us to do, right? So now what's the ask? The ask is, is that we ask that he send that Holy Spirit and empower that Holy Spirit within us to direct and rule our hearts. In other words, all that we think, all that we love, all that we do, all that we are becoming is according to his will. And if we're becoming those people according to his will, well, then we'll be able to please him, right? Because we're becoming more like him. That is a part of the deification of humanity, that we are to become more and more like it. We'll never be God but we want to reflect his glory in our lives. It's very important. Uh, today, like I said, is Sunday. 7.30 morning prayer, 8 o'clock Holy Communion, 10 o'clock Holy Communion, and then 5.30 evening prayer with the opportunity to receive communion if you didn't get a chance to in the morning. So pick a service or two and join us to glorify God, to receive Jesus in the Blessed Sacrament. And I hope that I will see you.